All right, let's go. Gerald is good. Okay, so uh, let's, with the conference call, I'm going to go over um, the indicator and the strategy this week. Um, I want to go over a couple zones that I sent out. Good evening, everybody. Thomas, Tina, Veronica. And so we're going to record this because a lot of traders can't make it. So um, let's just go through this for about 20 minutes. I want to show you these updated zones. Um, hey, Earl. So if we look at the, um, if we look what we have, the workspaces we have currently, this workspace got sent out to you guys. All right. So this is the workspace was sent out to everybody. And it shows the S&P 500. All right, we had a buy zone here at the close. Real nice little buy zone here at uh, what 245. Nice big S&P point move. Never got stopped out and um, held the zone. And is what 08 to around 30. Really nice big punch up to the upside. We had another one first target off. Second one first target off. Then the runner got stopped out. So this is the workspace the workspace that we sent out to you um, that is going to be the levels that are pre-programmed my zones that are pre-programmed already are in that workspace so if you want to change to the zones that I am going to be showing you additional zones tonight you can do that by just changing these two zones I have 45 and 38 in the workspace I sent out to you guys that works great on the five Simrinko um, I'm going to show you two additional deeper zones that I like to look at that work really good. Um, I've been using the five and eight sim Renko on it. Um, you can even go down to the uh, five. If you, I mean the five and eight. I'm sorry, you can go down to the five to it also. But these are already programmed for you in this workspace. So you should be getting the exact same levels that we're getting um, as far as that goes. Uh, what we're going to go over tonight. Um, we won't spend too much time on this but I'm going to go over entry technique so when you are trying to enter these setups whatever time frame you're using um, there's a couple things that traders have been doing in uh, inside and outside the room we have an oscillator below you can use oscillator confirmation uh, uh, for your entry when it goes above your lower levels and upper levels um, you can use a uh, where positive or negative market delta come in, these bars, I used to have market delta in the room. I programmed it into our new SIM Rinko bar. So if you turn negative market delta, the, the Rinko bar turns red. If you turn positive market delta, the Rinko bar turns green. And so that, now you don't have to look at the delta numbers. It's already included in the bar type. And so if you get positive market delta, then your entry would be on these two uh, setups would be, you know, here. And then also an entry would be there. The stop would be two ticks below the swing low. Again, that swing and that swing. Um, and then down here, your swing down there also. So whatever trades you guys do, let me find a short. Let's see. There, here, here's one on the zone. So you can do the positive market delta. Another zone trade that happened today inside the room. Um, there's your positive market delta. So once you get to the zone, you just can't close two candles outside the zone. If you close two candles outside the zone, it nullifies the trade. Here it closes one, two candles outside the zone. So it nullifies the ATR setup. So it's just a non-event and a non-trade. A lot of traders, what they're doing is they're using um, the ATM strategy um, uh, to you know, get into the into the market and go and break even plus one and then let's say you're doing three contracts they'll have another contract sitting out here and another one and then they use the step up a lot of traders are using the step up ATM that Ninja provides for an ATM trail the key is this is it trying to get that first target off right between what we're finding is in live trades between members and myself and so on um, 8 to 12 ticks a lot of traders are using 10 as a good first target and then go and break even plus one, but that's a sweet spot. Eight to twelve ticks. Um, I wouldn't go higher than twelve on your first target on a five sim, and then your stops are two ticks below that swing low. Um, and then you can use your second uh, and third and fourth targets accordingly with the step up. So you can, if you get if you get shallow retracements like this, if you want to trade off of a smaller time frame. Um, so this is a five sim Renko where you can just trade off the five sim Renko. So there's three type of zones you can do based upon time frame. So the first 
first uh, the first one would be a three sim, which you could use a 26, 30, 30. It actually, it's 32 would be the exact number on a buy zone or sell zone. And uh, the only time I'd use a three sim ratio because it's such a small time frame would be um, at a five sim uh, symmetry dot level. So if we come down and I get a speed bar, this is catching the wrongly positioned traders at this level. If you're inside the zone on the three sim, that's the only time I trade the three sim. You really don't need to trade a small time frame like that because the five sim is so accurate and the eight sim is so accurate. But if you want to get these trades, because these are shallow retracements and you don't want to wait for a zone trade here. So this is a zone, right? This is our zone. This is where we're trying to buy the retracement right there. That's a buy zone. So that one, 74 and a half, it got as high as what? 83, almost 10 S&P points. It don't look like much until you, uh, the five sim, uh, but until you go and see, you're like, wow, that's a 10 point move. So that's a nice profit situation there. So if you look at the, if you look at shallow retracements, if you land on the symmetry dots, then you can use a three sim, a three sim with a 26, uh, I use 2630, the actual range that, uh, that, that you're supposed to have is 2632. Uh, it'll stop sometimes with the ticket 32, like at this level, and then take off. But that's the only time I'd use a three sim ratio. If you want to just trade one time frame, you can trade the eight or five sim by itself or in conjunction with each other. But typically, um, a lot of traders that I found are just trading off one chart off this five sim ratio because it's, it's very, very accurate. All right. So that is a shallow retracement called a shallow retracement where you can trade off a smaller time frame. The ATR, like I said, so you can write that down is 26 to 32, 26 to 32 is the range. If you're going up to, so let's just mark that down because I want to make sure you guys get this down. So if you trade shallow retracements, where it stops at symmetry dots, and these are my symmetry dots, leave them at 25. off the three sim and that's confirmed by the five sim on symmetry on sim dots which are 25 so that's the only time I would do it and the range the ATR is 26 to 32 and you can test this you can go back on it I know Tina has a server she uses and tests it um, 18, uh, 18 months back or so on, or, or a couple of years. And did, Tina, how long do you test usually when you test these levels? How, how far do you usually go back on your on your server? I mean, it's quite extensive. So, um, you know, you can use these ATR levels and test as far as as far as you want to go back to see how they how they work. Yeah, 18 months to 36 months. So, um, uh, so then we go. So that is the one thing you can do off a of shallow retracement. So shallow retracements. Shallow retracements are right here, where you don't get to the ATR, but you get a what? You get a speed bar. The reason this works, guys, so well, and a lot of you guys have seen this, uh, you've seen a lot of trades now since we released the software to you, especially with this workspace. You're seeing a lot of trades that the, this zone is calling the move. You know, it's coming down the zone, it's firing right out of it. You know, so what happens is if the market's too hot, you won't get down to this zone. So, but the key to the system are these speed bars because these are volume spikes in the market. Are they, are the counter trend traders hitting the bid really hard? Are they trying to hit the ask really hard? And that's why we try to catch them and for exhaustion points or turning points. That's why these work so well. So if you're not going to, if you're not going to wait to the zone and you want to get into a hot market, if you get an opposite color speed bar against ATR trend, then you can confirm it with the three sim it should come down inside of that three sim zone and if it doesn't then you have a lower probability trade let me add an e here okay so that's how you can trade off of the oh sorry my typing that's how you can trade off of uh using a three sim rinko with five sim confluence so if you're going to do that have a five and three next to each other and say, hey, if it comes down to shallow, I'll take a five with a three sim entry. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The second way is you can just trade off one time frame. This is a five sim Renko. If you do it this way, you can 
the, the, uh, the, the trades are, the nice trades that you can take or the great trades are, they always got to have a speed bar. You always got to have a speed bar when you trade this setup. An optic color speed bar against overall trend. And you got you to gotta pull yourself in. So you can use the 5 Simrinko and enter off of that positive market delta there or inside the zone, the positive market delta there with a stop, two ticks below that swing. And then you can put two ticks below that swing after you get pulled in. All right. If it closes two can uh, two bars below the ATR, then you then the trade is over. Okay. Let's just make sure we understand that you cannot uh, you cannot even enter the trade because the ATR has been violated. The second ATR setting that you can look at, and this is an intermediate, and this is what I have. Five, five Simrinko, and this would be a 45 ATR and a 38. That's on my workspace that I just sent out to you guys. So this is the most popular that everybody is trading mostly off of is a 5 Simrinko, and these are my settings I'm using. I'm using a 5 Sim with a 45.38, all right? So that's an intermediate. An intermediate, it means you're coming down to these zones, but it's not a deep, deep retracement according to the whole day of the market. So in other words, this is a nice move. This is a 10 point almost S&P point move here. But I'm gonna show you one longer uh, zone, I mean a, a deeper zone, I call it a deep zone retracement, that actually instead of getting 10 points, we're going for the 20, 30 point possible trades with small stops. All right, so if I go to a deeper retracement then, and I'm gonna go over the strategy, how we're gonna do this with the strategy too in a second. So let's go to the deeper zone. So deeper retracements, and this is where you're trying to get that big move in the market. This is off the eight cent. And confirmation, off the five sim. So now you're using a larger time frame, eight sim Renko, with a five sim entry for small stops. So this ATR, and I'll show you how accurate it is. It's very, very, it just did phenomenal today again. So um, here's the ATR we want to use are my Fibonacci sequence, my 62% retracement, the golden ratio, the golden ratio, and up to 70%. So if you guys ever bought my book and know how to trade day trading news and all that stuff, you know that's one of my sweet spot levels after news comes out. That's also my sweet spot levels on my dots that we used to have on the blue and the red dots that formed. Okay, it is a, it's a nice little sweet spot. Well, it works great with the system because that is the golden ratio, 62%. So if you look at it, I've always loved that percentage. It works just phenomenal on this type of deep retracement. I'll show you. So now you got this. Now you got the 8 sim. So these are the levels you can put into the system. Very shallow retracements. I would not do the 3 sim Rinko unless it's confirmed off of 5 off symmetry. I'm telling you that right now. The best ones will fire right off these symmetry dots with small stops if the 3 confirms inside the zone. Because the 5 did not make the zone, but guess what? When that hit that low, guess what it was? It was a three sim Rinko right inside the 26 to 32 that gave you a pulling bar with an eight to 10 tick stop. Very small stop for a 10 point possible move. So that's how you can do it. I know a lot of traders like Thomas in the room likes to use uh, the large time frame eight sim, right Thomas? And he likes to go back down to the three sim entries and that it works great for small stops. So you can do it that way. Um, the, the, the other way, is the intermediate retracements off the 5 sim 45 to 38. This is what the workspace I sent out to you guys. So the workspace I sent out to you, we got market profile, we got the supply demand lines, and we got this chart I'm showing you right now. If you want to keep it simple, the KISS method, what I would do is just trade off this time frame, off the 5 sim Renko by itself, and just strictly watch for setups inside the zone with confirmation. Now how you confirm it is these oscillators down here. This oscillator, at this level, when you get through, 
if you if you turn you can you can buy it with a positive market delta or you can wait until you get a what until you get a confirmation pull in and then your stop is two ticks below the swing low what it's going to do is increase your stop okay but you will get confirmation with this loss later if you want or you can just wait for positive market delta on these two totally up to you depends on your style of trading the last one is a deeper retracement this is off the 8 sim and confirmation off the 5 this is a 6270 so what I'm saying is what, what how you change these guys I'm, let me get this how you change these is you change these right here so if you're gonna put in a 6270 you put 62 where 45 as in 62 and then you go down and you put 45 and 45 All right, 45 and 45 I'm sorry 45 to 70, you put 70 up, up front for 70 where 45 is at, 70, 170, and then you put 62, 162 for the deeper retracements, and then you can put it on an 8 cent. All right, so mark this down. This is, this is the only zones that you should be looking at, okay? Only zones. Now, with the strategy that I'm doing um, – for you you guys and gals currently you have a strategy right now that looks at the retracements and looks at the WPTs and looks at our other entry technique called a continuation all right um, we're not going to shut that off I mean because I'm, I'm working on that also as we do this so that's going to be available for you guys also but you are going to be able to trade live monies inside the zone that you want to trade so how the strategy is going to work it's going to you're going to you're going to put the zone that you want to buy or sell and right when you get inside the zone, you can have three ways of entering the market. And you can tell the strategy. You can have positive or negative market delta with a small stop below it. You can have a confirmation and put the oscillator number in that you want to use the oscillator, whichever you want to use for confirmation. So if you want the uh, positive market delta, your entry would be right here on the second bar after the green bar inside the zone. If you wanted a, a confirmation oscillator of 20, then your entry would be right here. You still made a possible seven S&P points. You're buying high, selling higher. And then the third way is a limit order. It's going to take the distance between the high and the bottom of your zone. So if it's going to limit, it's going to put a limit order in the middle of the zone. Okay? So what I'm thinking about doing is taking the bottom of the zone and plus or minus the bottom or high of that zone. I think that's the easiest way to program this. So what it'll do is say, okay, here's your zone at 45. And if once it gets two ticks with inside either zone or, or the top zone if you put uh, that you want a three tick or four tick above the zone or two tick then it will put a limit order right when it gets within three ticks of the zone and you'll have a limit order in right there also so those are going to be the three entry techniques on the strategy limit a positive negative market delta and then you're also going to get um, you're also going to have the confirmation Three ways to do it. This is only going to have zone trade. This is a zone trading strategy, okay, because we're getting so much success from this is that traders are doing very, very well with live monies. You can see it in the room all the time. Traders posting their results, and um, this is not sim they're doing. This is actually live monies they're trading, so they're doing very well with it. So we're going to automate this thing, and so we can, uh, we, we can, we can have that available for traders uh, in the room. All right, so let's move on then. Let's look at the... So this is the intermediate five sim. This is what's on the workspace right down here. So, you know, this is what we show on the workspace. I do have an eight sim next to us over here. It's already pre-programmed. Listen, the best way to do it, if you see green dots on the eight sim clicking up, you look for five sim entries. You look for ATR buys. If you see red dots start printing down, especially inside of a zone, this is a zone cell. This is a huge cell. Look at this zone cell right here. I mean, that was 45.12 all the way down to 44.84. Just a real big sell-off uh, on the S&P um, as far as that goes. But if it's red on the larger time frame, look for your five symmetry. So that's how you can trade an eight as far as with the settings I gave you. Uh, marker profile, what we do, we give uh, it's a set on a five-minute chart. You can tell the best trades you're going to get on a... Uh, ATR run is when you get outside of profile. You get outside of profile, you see big runs in these markets. You get inside of profile, you first break inside here, you see big sell ATR runs. So market profile is a real good gauge. If you get outside, 
break retests, see big ATR runs. We buy the zone or sell the zone. So you can use market profile as a gauge if you retest it and start rolling over, see big ATR runs. You know, so that's how we can use the profile. Uh, the, the profile can be used as an addition. Do you need it with the ATR uh, for entries? No, but it gives you confirmation of order flow. So that's the workspace we have set up for you. When you get this, it's set up on the S&P, minis, or micros, but the S&P still gives the same results. So this is a the workspace you guys have. Now, if you want to go into um, if you want to go into the uh, larger time frames, all right, hold on one sec. Where did my chart go? Hold on one sec. If you want to go into deeper retracements, let me show you what the deep retracements are. No, hold on one sec. I just had it. Let me find it. Get some new charts open. All right, so let's see. Um, all right, let me show you one other thing while we're looking at this also. All right, so for the larger time frames, let's take a look at this. This is the bar type. This is the 8 Simrenko. 8 Simrenko, 8 days back, 8 three days back, whatever you want to do, you know, just don't go 30 days back. It, it bogs your system down a little bit. But if you look, this is an 8 sim four days back. This is my 62 to 70 ATR. Okay. What it's doing, it's looking for deep retracements. It's not a five sim Renko. It's a deep retracement. So when it comes up inside the zone, this is what you're looking for, a big move on the Dow. Now, couple ways you can do it again what you can do you can wait for confirmation when you once you get inside the zone this is an eight to pull you in to get in early in the move or if you want confirmation that this sucker starting to really roll down you can use a 20 crossing through the 80 for the move right here look at that push and that is just off of one time frame so these deeper retracements work very very well on these markets and that's a 62 to 70 percent. Let me show you what this is called now. This is called a retest failure. One of my favorite trades in the room to do now. Leo, you've been doing a great job of that, by the way, in the room. What we what we found out um, is that um, Sal Sal started noticing this. Good job, Sal. Is the retest short that was happening on qualified setups? Well, the more I got into it, the more I looked at it, I said, how can we call qualify these failures like this for trade setups? What I found is, is that if it bounces once or twice off of a zone and you get targets off, bounce here, not maybe bounce again, if it breaks, it should retest the big dot ATR, hit its head, negative market delta, you can confirm it with your oscillators to pull you in, that is called a failure retest off of a failed ATR that you would not have got in anyway, watch. If you're using a positive market delta to get you in, this did not get you in the market. We are negative market delta, two closes below the ATR. Secondly, it did not get you in the oscillator. It never closed below it. The only thing that it got, it, it could get you in if you put a limit order in with a small stop below. But that's called a retest short. You break it, you retest it. That's another great way to do it off these time frames. That works on the 5 sim and 8 sim really, really well. Retest. Let's go over this larger time frame. You can see that if I look at the buy versus sell, it caught it catches big inflection points so this is the Dow since 2:30 this afternoon and look at the small buy zones and sell zones that it catches it caught this beautiful buy zone right here caught a beautiful buy zone this is deep, these are deep retracements buy zone here and then it caught that beautiful sell zone over here so that's my largest zone that I would be using is my golden ratio 62% I would not go longer than 62% because you don't get a good ATR trail. So that's the largest that I'm going to use is 62 to 70%. I've always loved that ratio, the golden ratio, ever since we opened the room. It's been my favorite ratio to use. And it just, I plugged it in and played it on my algorithm, and it just fit perfect. So it really matches up well if you guys want to use that. 
on an 8 sim. Now let's say you want to do a 5 sim. You say, okay, I'll go back. I'll show you some more trades on this. Had some nice trades today. See how it bounced right off this low. Beautiful at 12 o'clock. What, 12.32. Came off the low here at 13.30. Just beautiful trades. So here's another great trade at 11.54. Another one at 11.32. Another one at 11.17. Beautiful right there at 10.41. You get my point. Here's two back to back at 10.01, 10.07, 9.53. So if you, let's say you want to confirm it with, let's say, a smaller time frame on these entries. So let's say we come up to this larger time frame, deep retracement, and you're like, well, I don't want to wait to turn negative market delta on, a, on an 8 sim because guess what? Your stops are larger, right? So instead of waiting, up into that level, you can actually look at a 5 sim wrinkle in this also. So if I change this to 5 sim, now let's go back and look at the cell zone using the same ones. Now you got confirmation that that's your cell zone. Let's see where it got us in. Right here is the oscillator. Right there. Whoops. Oscillator to pull you in off that larger time frame. So that is that is a larger time frame. That's a larger time frame. So um, it pulls you in, but your stop loss is still the same. Two ticks above the swing high, that's one tick, two ticks. Never knocked you out of the trade. You can even go outside the zone if you want to, but then you get that big push down using a five sim um, with the same deep retracement. So you can use the same deep retracements the five sim off the off the off the 45 and 38 it's catching these guys right here it's catching these swings catching these swings catching this swing so the deeper retracements what they do is right here it catches the deep deep retracement so when you're coming down into this level let me blow it up for you this is a five sim Renko using a golden ratio 62 to 70 percent You can see as we come down, right there's your confirmation bar to get in. If you're using the oscillator, pulled you in right at that nice level, and you got the nice move up. So you can use the five sim still off the off this larger time frame. Okay, you see it's very accurate as far as that goes too. But it waits for the deeper retracements. Like this is a five sim Renko firing here, off of a 38 to 45 ratio. 38 to 45 fired here this morning. 38 to 45 fired here this morning. Then we get the big deep retracement, and that causes the big move. So if you trade off of a deep retracement, look at the moves. The moves are much larger in duration. So that's what I'm trying to get at, is that if you trade off a of five, you I mean, there's still 10-point S&P runs at moves. You trade off a deep retracement. I mean, this little puppy just took off and jetted straight up. So, and it works the same way on the ES. It doesn't matter if you trade. Um, if you trade, uh, what markets you trade? Let's look at the S&P. The S&P. Look at the move on this S&P on the deep retracement, on the golden ratio deep retracement that I like. Look at that deep retracement. That is what 44.97. The high is 31. You're talking about a 30, 32, 33 point move potential off of a deep retracement. These are where the five is generating trades. Five here, five here. The threes are generating these real small retracements, right? So you really just, what I like, you really just need to look at the eight and the eight and the five. The eight and five get a lot of good setups. So here's two deep retracements. I mean, these look small, but they're not because it's a larger time frame, 67 to 84. I mean, it's 17 S&P points potential. I mean, these are not small moves. 68 all the way up to 91. So, you know, these are not small moves by any means. So you can use that uh, for the deeper retracements off my, off my zones, okay? So that's, those are the three zones that we can work off of. And how you want to do it is totally up to you. You can customize any way you want to do it. What I'm showing in the room is I'm showing this. The workspaces that we are giving you that we sent out is the 5 Simrenko right here with the 45 
38 to 45% retracement. All right? That's what we're working off of in the room. If, if you want to use longer ones, then remember, you can bump yourself up to 62 to 70%, my golden ratio. And if the smallest one I would do would be the three sim, let's say we go down to a three sim, it's just, it's a different type of animal. So if I go down to a three sim Renko, you know, let me show you. So if I bump down to a three, the smallest time frame, you got to adjust your zone. So if I bump down to a three, this is the smallest time frame. I'd only trade this time frame if the five confirms. So if, if you bump down to a three ratio, then you're still going to get deep zone trades. See this? With very small stops. All right, you can do it that way, but I'd only do it at the five sim setting up. Five sim setting up. And if you want to get these smaller retracements in here, if you want to get these smaller retracements, then you got to lower your zone. So what you can do is you can lower it down into a 32.26. Now what you're going to do is you're looking for five cent to land on symmetry. If you're just starting out, I'd only use the five or eight because it's a very small time frame, but some of you are pretty good doing this right now. So make sure I got that right. 26, 32. Okay, so look. So these zones, you catch it, you just catch the smaller retracements. So you're catching smaller retracements inside the zone. So if let's say the five Simrico, where's it at? Let's see. Let me see a trend. Let's say the five Simrico is on the symmetry dots at this level. Right? It just gives you confirmation. So that's the lowest time frame I go, but I prefer everybody look at the five and eight because it slows the market down. Your stops are tight still. And if you want to look for the eight to set it up and let the five pull you in, then that's a really, really good way to do it. And if you want to go for just basics, you can just use the five Simrenko and trade off our zone from our workspace. And just be patient and wait for trades like this and zone trades like this. All right, so that's what I would do. Um, no, you can use it off the five sim also. Leo, Leo. All right, I'm currently trying to automate this thing and you can plug in what zones you want to plug in. Also, on the ATM strategy, I'm doing the step-up version for the runner. Step up and step down. I love that in the ATM strategy. That's going to be available for you to step up your contracts. Uh, I mean, to reduce risk on the ATM once you get in. I don't know if you guys use a step-up after hitting your contracts. Um, that's going to be used as far as a trail. Um, but those are the zones that work the best. What I'm going to show in the room, like I said, we show 24 hours a day around the clock. I show the five Simrenko. You get a lot of trade setups just on, just trading this time frame by itself. But if you want to get more in depth to it, you guys are doing very well. I thought, hey, I'll, I'll, I'm going to bring you a little bit. You can you can have the eight beside it now, and you can start catching some of these deeper retracements. It doesn't change the way we enter though. The entry is the same. The stops are the same. It just gives you more opportunities because the deep golden ratio. Uh, zone that that I found is typically a major high or major low during the day and it look at it don't take my word for it go back and look for it on the market you look at and you'll be very very impressed you're like wow that's pretty impressive and it stops right inside that zone all right but I would I would shy away from the three sim if you're if you're just trying to understand the system I would focus only on the five sim if you're new to this only focus on the five and work on your entry techniques inside the zones with trend. And then once you get good at it, like a lot of you guys and gals are already, you guys have picked this up really, really well. I mean, just from the results you're sending me via email in the room, you guys are throwing live bullets and doing very well with it. Then expand it and try to get deeper zones. Then you try to let your runner run a little bit. If you get into deep zone trades, try to let that sucker run more because those are potentially the big biggest mover of the day. 
And if you want to use the 8 and let the 5 confirm, you can do that too. And that's why we, we put this software on your system. You can customize these zones any way you want to do it. I show you what I think is a great turning points in these markets. These are my zones that I like. All right. If you come up with something better, go for it because you can change it in the indicator and you can change it on the strategy. One last thing. On the indicator, I totally took out the sirens or the alerts on retracements on the triangles. Totally removed them. What I did is I added, um, I added the alert to show when we are getting inside of the zone. So if it comes inside the zone, then you're going to get an alert. All right. So now when you get an alert, it's going to be based upon the zone trading. So if you're trading multiple markets, you can customize your different bells for a doorbell or a ding or an obnoxious sound. And then you can put your own wave file in there and you know that that's inside of a zone. Where that helps is if you use it on larger time frames, like an 8 sem Rinko, and you're inside the zone, you may potentially be in a big giant reversal. Right? And so if you're not paying attention, the alarm will go off. And that's why I wanted to add it. We just get too many retracements with these uh, triangles. And it's not big inflection points. They're small retracements. They're not order flow. So the, um, the zone will help us out. And plus, it will not fire a bell unless we're getting speed bars inside the zone also. It has to have a speed bar to catch the wrongly positioned traders. So that's what I'm finding the best trades are. you got speed inside of the zone. That's why the system works so well.